The coffee is black, the Stegosaurus is still frisky, and I'd like to welcome you to Modeling Blog Daily, the June the 15th, 2008, Sunday edition. And my robot is just in a real feisty kind of mood. Last night I did a, a charming model of a wreck. Uh, a charming wreck. <laughs> uh, I built a boat called the Crossbone Clipper uh, several weeks ago and it it actually is a Lego system 6250 uh, a wonderful little boat uh, and on the back side of the uh, of the instruction manual they have uh, another picture of another uh, rendition of that boat a different kind of model uh, but what got my fancy down here was this wreck you know when you take a, a boat like the crossbone clipper you, you, and you have a wreck what do you do you use all the parts in the boat to build a wreck a fort <laughs> so, so uh, I, I, I used all the parts and I built myself what I called a shore battery uh, and I went into detail last night on on that uh, but, but one I want to show you is the genesis of this idea. Several years ago, uh, uh, actually 2003, I bought a, a, a fabulous set called the Lego uh, Legend. It's a 10,040. And actually this was a re-release of a 6285 Black Seas Barracuda, first edition, released in 1989. This is probably one of the the first pirate ships uh, of any substance that Lego uh, came out with. A, a large one, 896 pieces. Well, on the flip side of the box, they have some uh, marvelous ideas, including a, another version of the ship in dry dock which I am eventually going to build that uh, and there's another picture of that uh, same dry dock they have a, a, a wreck and that, you know that where you take all the the parts and just throw them in and make yourself a, a wreck it's kind of like you just got wrecked on an island and you got to build up a fort um, and they have another picture of another angle looking at that fort I'm going to build that too and they also they also build up a little barge and another little boat. So there, you know, Lego has these ideas, <clears throat> and uh, when they do the ideas, they uh, they basically uh, uh, let you use your imagination and their picture. And uh, I, that robot's feisty today. Anyhow, I decided I was going to build this uh, this little wreck. So what I did is I took a picture of the picture with my uh, uh, my digital camera <clears throat> by the way the kind of camera I I use an 8 megapixel camera so you, with a <clears throat> with the kind of work that I'm doing here uh, the higher the megapixels the better it's going to be for your uh, your blow-ups on the screen and, and that that's exactly what I do I, I, I import them into the, the paint program and then with the magnifying glass I can can zoom in but I want to show you something when you zoom in on a picture that's not very good see you get the grain and you can't get around that so there is a limit as to how far uh, you can go with these pictures I want you to take a look at something if you see that skeleton right there I put a little uh, additional red hat on that skeleton but he, he he, he's kind of like a, a centerpiece on on the wreck. Well, if you go over here, you can see that same skeleton uh, right there. What you do when you're building from an ID, you start with what you can see. And actually, the first thing I did was I built uh, I built this little dock because it was pretty clear the way it, it was going to lay out. Um, and then I. Uh, I did the crane. I had to do an angle. See that angle right there? See that angle right there? You kind of just logically do what you got to do. Anyhow, I really do enjoy building uh, the ideas. They're, they're a lot of fun. Uh, speaking of ideas, there's another one that I did back 
in uh, December, on December 6th, I did, it's called the Best Log Treasure Island. And I, I know a lot of you guys don't like Best Log, but they have a marvelous Spanish fort. And the reason I'm showing you this right now is because I'm doing wrecks, and this is a wrecked fort. Uh, it's a dilapidated fort in the, in the Caribbean that the British are holding, and, and they have, uh, it's all wrecked. And it's just a, a marvelous looking little fort. Um, uh, best luck, I picked this thing up for a song. I think I, pay, I paid two or three dollars for it. <laughs> no, I didn't pay that. I, I probably paid 14. I don't know. I didn't pay very much money though. And you can see the detail and, uh, and the bricks. It's a little fort. It's a wrecked fort. And uh, so the whole point is you can take uh, your bricks uh, and, and make forts and you can take your bricks uh, from your ship ships and make uh, uh, wrecked stranded uh, forts on islands and things so there's a lot of uh, possibilities uh, open to you when you're building with these bricks uh, most of you have a lot of Lego bricks just laying around. You could probably build this fort to snap. Isn't it, isn't it a charming look, looking little fort? Anyhow, the uh, I, I enjoy this stuff with a passion, guys. I wanted to mention one more thing about the uh, the model here. I built it up exactly uh, as it was. I mean, you can see there's uh, th three. Uh, Cannonballs stacked up, two stacks each, three. And everything's exactly the same. And when I'm finally finished uh, with the building process, and I've uh, used everything I need to make it look exactly like it was, then I build something extra. And here I build a cannonade, uh, what I called a uh, a shore battery with a cannon, uh, which I think turned out real well. With, this is this is a helps you aim. <laughs> Anyhow, this is a, a lot of fun, and I would highly recommend that you revisit your ideas because your ideas uh, can sometimes be a lot more fun than well the kits. I mean, that was a lot of fun to put that stegosaurus together, but quite frankly, building this up from the idea was even funner, um, and and then being creative at the end was even the funnest. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Bill and Red signing off on a Sunday with a very feisty robot wishing you a wonderful day ahead. And we both say sayonara, friend.